Thanks for clicking on the link. In this video, I'm gonna talk about some great topics that will help you grow your construction business and hopefully look at things in a much different way. Two really important things I'm gonna talk about in this video. Um, there's a lot of things that we could talk about and how to grow your business. Uh, but the two ones that we're gonna stick to today and then I'm gonna make some other videos um, that'll help you and your construction business. Uh, the two most important things are process and I'll explain what that means and then, um, and then capital because in the construction business it's a really capital intensive business. But topic number one it, you know, is process. And so I've helped thousands of business owners and thousands of construction owners um, across the country uh, grow their business. And the one thing that I see with the, a lot of businesses and a lot of industries, but especially in the construction space, is there's never really a focus on process, which is understandable. I mean, a lot of times when you start your construction business, it's you yourself and maybe one other person, and you're just focused on getting the next job, and the next thing you know, you're just inundated in, you know, in the day-to-day -day and just on to the next job, and you're going from job to job. And a lot of people, whether in construction or any business, never stop and take a step out of the business to work on it. And I know it's not an easy thing to do, and it's easier said than done, but it is possible. One of the, the best books that I think I've ever read, which helped me um, build out amazing processes in my business and, and, grow, to, and grow to about 100 employees, was uh, this book called The E-Myth Revisited by Michael Gerber. I'll share a link with you later in the video, um, but this uh, book is a must, must read for for any business owner, but especially for um, someone in the construction space. And it'll really help you understand what I'm talking about and how to build out processes. And all processes start with what happens from when the phone rings? Who's answering that phone? Who's scheduling um, the estimates? Who's scheduling the jobs? Who's putting the route together? Who's ordering the materials? Who's collecting on the job to make sure that it's paid? All those things require processes and they're not you know, you can't really build them, out, build them out over a night or a weekend. They take some time and you'll have to always be improving those processes. But once you put those processes in place, you can move from business operator to business owner. And there's a major difference. And with processes in place, you, you can really focus on growing the business and get to really where you want to go. Let me paint a picture for you of what this could look like in your business. Imagine if the phone rang and there was someone designated that answered that phone. And that person automatically scheduled your next job, and that job appeared on your calendar or your team member's calendar without you ever having to get involved. And then you go and you do the estimate or do the job. Once that job's complete, there's a process or someone in place that would go and actually collect the money um, and make sure that, that that invoice or job was paid. So as an example, in a painted picture, and, and in the book, The E-Myth that I mentioned, Michael Gerber really does a great job of painting this picture of what true processes and systems in place look like in action. But imagine if your business, um, you had things in place where phone calls came in, you never were involved with those phone calls, they were answered, jobs were, were scheduled or estimates were scheduled, and those automatically appeared on you um, or your other team members' calendars, and they were already they were out at those jobs doing the estimates, and then those estimates turned into scheduled jobs without you again ever having to get involved. And then there was designated people on your team that went and fulfilled and did those jobs. It's hard to imagine when you're an operator in your business and so inundated in the day to day that that's actually possible that you wouldn't have to be involved in, involved in every part of your business. But it is possible with the right people and the right systems in place that literally phone calls can come into your business, estimates would be booked, jobs are booked, jobs are completed, and they're collected on, and the money winds up in your bank account. It sounds kind of funny and and so simple, and it's definitely easier said than done. But Picture what that would look like. And if you think it's not possible, it really is. Reading that book will really put you on the right track. Um, but having those right systems in place will also give you the ability to book the volume that you want to book and to be able to make the profit that you want to make. In any business, if you don't have the systems in place, you'll never be able to handle the volume. Without being able to handle the volume, you'll never get to the sales that you want to get to. So you have to crawl before you walk and run. And you have to stop, reset, and really put focus in the right areas and put those systems in place um, in order to hit the sales and, and do the business and numbers that you want to do. We're here to hear your story and to build a relationship with you and help you grow. 
If you'd like more information on how to do that, please check out and click on the link below. Also, please subscribe to my page, and it was really, uh, really great to speaking with you today, and I hope you took a lot out of this. And be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.